Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. The launch of the third College Week Celebration and Maiden Chartec Exhibition for the College of Art and Built Environment, CABE, took place on Monday, the 6th of November 2017, at the Trevallion Block of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. In attendance for the launch and exhibition were the Provost for the College of Art and Built Environment, Professor Joshua Ayakwa, the Dean for the Faculty of Art and Main Speaker for the Day, Dr. Edwin Kwesi Bojawa, the Registrar for Kabe, Mr. Henry Harikosa, the Assistant Registrar, Mrs. Senita, the Head of Department for Architecture, Mr. Samuel Abenin, the SRC Vice President, Mr. Julio Paolo Caesar, the NUCS President, Mr. Derek Ochri, the NUCS Treasurer, Mr. Augustine Chumesi, the President for College of Art and Built Environment Students Association, Mr. Caleb Debra, and the students and executives of the College of Art and Built Environment. The theme for this year's launch and exhibition was the role of creative art and built environment in Ghana's development. Speaking on this theme at the event, Dr. Edwin Kwesi Bojawa said, I must say, it feels good to be in your midst, and I'm highly honored. The theme for this year's week's celebration is the role of the creative art and built environment in Ghana's development. Art refers to a diverse range of human activities in creating visual, auditory, and performing artifacts or artworks, expressing the artist's imaginative or technical skill intended to be appreciated for their beauty and emotional power among humanity. Creativity, on the other hand, is the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality. Creativity is characterized by the ability to perceive this world in new and diverse ways. Find hidden patterns to make connections between seemingly unrelated phenomena and to generate solutions. Creative arts contribute greatly to the economic growth of nations, especially the developed ones, in which they are well patronized. This is seen in many ways, and some of which include the following. Firstly, the potential of the cultural and creative industries to drive sustainable development and create inclusive job opportunities. In a country like ours, where unemployment rates are very high, the rebranding or improvement of the creative art industry is one of the means by which unemployment rates can be reduced and ultimately increase productivity in the country. I would like to conclude by saying that the allocation of resources for the improvement of the creative art and built environment and its experts, as discussed here today, will go a long way to help in Ghana's development. On this note, on behalf of the Provost, Professor Joshua Ayakwa, and on my own behalf, the Dean of the Faculty of Arts, I declare this week officially launched. Thank you very much. Students from the various departments of the College of Arts and Built Environment showcased their works, and the Department of Industry and Rural Arts, IRAI, were crowned winners for the day. Speaking to the Provost, Professor Joshua Ayakwa, he mentioned that the college was putting plans in place to showcase the great works of the students of the College of Arts and Built Environment to the entire world. He said, Vision Committee, and we are going to work with you students. You will showcase us most of the important things that is done. You will speak to them on that day or two, and we will open our college to the whole of the university. So when the time comes, I want you to play a very great part of this important occasion. I'm so impressed and um, overwhelmed by the things that we do in this college, but nobody knows. Let us blow our own uh, question for people to see what we are doing. Thank you. Also speaking to some students about their works, they said, I'm Lawrence Matamankata. I'm the chairman of the committee that set up this work very well. And then my colleagues. I'm Gideon Ejapon, a member of the committee. Yeah, I'm Christopher Sagiti, um, a deputy chairman 
Yes, the committee. I'm Alexander Abuajinyano, also a member of the committee. So, what did this work? Can you just briefly introduce us to it? Okay, so first of all, we decided to talk about the components of a basic building. So we started bringing members like the roof members, the column boxes that we used to create the columns, the basic blocks itself, and then the bricks, which may also be used in place of the blocks. And then we decided to step our game up further to bring some improvements in the construction industry. You know, our industry is revolving around innovation and then creation. So we decided to bring um, a model that was already in existence, but a modified version of it that could be used for our climate and our situation here in Ghana. So it's called the EPS construction. Basically, that's what all this is about. Some executives also shared with Tech TV the preparations they put in place into making the day a success. During this program, we had to go through a lot. Uh, the preparation wasn't easy. Uh, with the help of our provost, the Tratech chairman, the registrar, this program has been a success. And it's been our maiden a Tratech uh, celebration. I believe next year is going to be mega. And thank you very much for coming our sponsors, uh, Love FM, Hetel, Tech TV, and all the students who come on board. We are very grateful. God bless Kabisa. Thank you. Tech TV, experience educational television.